How's your summer been? Are you ready to go back to school? It's grade five this year for Sophia. To make sure she's ready, she's doing a little reading at the optometrist's office. Can you see the first letter in the top line? It's part of Sophia's annual back-to-school eye exam. Her parents hope tracking her vision now will spare Sophia vision loss later on. My wife has really bad vision. She's nearsighted. I'm almost blind in one eye. And uh, for both of us, we didn't find out until pretty late. So it affected, uh, probably affected my wife's schooling in the early years and affected me with sports, I know for sure. Some 2 to 4% of children have what's called amblyopia, or lazy eye, which is poor vision in an otherwise healthy eye due to coordination problems. Okay, tell me when that looks blurry, please. Even those with 20-20 vision aren't home free. Eye strain and headache can come in eyes that see 20-20 just simply because they're not functioning well together. And as well, um, an eye that sees 20-20 could still have a serious health issue inside that we don't know about unless we have a look. It's estimated 10% of kids start school with a vision problem. That percentage doubles by the time they reach high school. Optometrists recommend the first eye exam at six months, followed by three years old, and then every year after. Children often don't know and can't tell if they're not seeing correctly. Oftentimes there are no signs, but the signs that um, sometimes would be noticeable are um, headaches, eye strain, squinting, aversion to reading. Sophia's eyes are healthy, but they have changed prescription. I found out that um, I, might, I need new glasses. The real challenge is getting her to wear them. I think we'll find her something she likes and she'll keep them on.